What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Looking at a little bit more of the Seesaw Red competition. Uh, not too many people played this, but I did want to highlight some of the cool stuff that it had. This is the challenge Easy RSA for 50 points, just the first challenge in the cryptography category. It's literally simple RSA. Um, so if you don't know what RSA is, you could just simply Google it, um, RSA, and you'll get the crypto system article on Wikipedia. Kind of explains a little bit more of what it is, the math behind it, but it is just, in a sense, uh, public cre uh, a public key crypto system. So um, I've covered it in many, many videos, um, and you can totally find more of them if you just Google or YouTube search my name and RSA and some other CTF stuff. But it explains that, okay, you have some numbers here, uh, M being your plain text, being the original message, E being an exponent, N being a modulus, uh, D being a private key, C being a the ciphertext, etc. And this article explains it a little bit more. Um, normally, you're given just N and E because that would make up the public key. You are not given D and that that is the private key. Um, and cause, because D as the private key will let you decrypt the ciphertext that you're given. In this case, we are given D, so we don't have to try and figure it out through some cool mathematical calculations of modular multiplicative inverses and the phi function and totion function, stuff like that. Uh, and maybe phi, I don't know the correct pronunciation, sorry. But uh, we don't need to deal with P and Q in this case because we're just given uh, D. We aren't, however, given E, but we can assume that it will be kind of the default, um, normally just 65537. And yeah, that is kind of the, the, the usual E or exponent that's given. And the, that public E is N and E. Since we're not given that E, we can just kind of assume and, and work with that. So we're, we've given these values here. Let's go ahead and do this because the Wikipedia article explains how we can just simply decrypt. In this decryption segment here, it says you can recover M, the plain text, from seek the ciphertext by using your private key exponent D by computing a, um, I'm sorry, C to the power of D mod N is equal to M. So let's go ahead and do that. We can do it simply in Python here. I'm just going to create a get flag script. Let's go ahead and make a directory for this. Oh, already made it. Yeah, but I didn't make the easy RSA. And let's mark it as complete just because we are uh, we we're confident. We know we're going to solve this easy. <laughs> so we'll get flag. Let's get a simple shebang line. And we have our numbers that we can just paste in here. So we're given all these variables. And let's go ahead and print out just the pow function, which is the power function in Python. So something raised to a power or something given an exponent. And let's actually determine what E should be as well. Let's say 0x10001. And that should be the proper um, number, I believe. If I paste it in hex, yes, that is the, that is the default the decimal number that we would see for E, except just in hex, because it's a little bit easy to remember for some reason in my mind. Um, so power, if you were using the original function, you would normally expect to see it with uh, a base raised to an exponent. So in this case, C raised to D. Um, however, if you give it a third argument, you can give it a modulus. You can give it that percent uh, symbol as you saw, or mod in some mathematical format here. So we can just say as a third argument, N, and then when we print this out, uh, N is not defined because it's capital N. Print this out, we're given this, which is a decimal number. But we want it in hex, so we can give it into ASCII pretty easily. So let's wrap that in hex. And then you can see some of these letters are ASCII characters. Um, let's cut out the 0x and the L at the very end. So I'll just do a slice operation from starting at two places in, colon to represent all the way through this, this this string here, and then negative one, so I cut out the L at the very end. So now I just have that number in hex. Then we can go ahead and decode it as hex, and we have the flag. Flag, Ron and a, these individuals that helped make the, the, that did make the RSA crypto system, they would be proud. So that's it. That's all you could submit for 50 points. Simple challenge, just kind of basics of RSA. We didn't have to try and factor N or determine P and Q or any of that hardcore stuff. It is simply easy RSA. So you could submit that and get some points. Hey, just a quick shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. I cannot say it enough. You are really what keeps this channel moving, uh, keeping me motivated to keep making cool stuff. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One dollar a month on Patreon will give you just a special shout out just like this at the end of every video where you can have a little bit of some feel good feels that you're helping something, <laughs> helping me, helping 
I don't know, just supporting the channel, just donating. It's 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 wonderful, feel good vibes. <laughs> Five dollars a month on Patreon will give you early access to every video that I create. Uh, if I don't, go ahead and put it on YouTube immediately. I am admittedly right now behind schedule, so I do not have a whole lot of early access stuff to show you. So, but that that should not sway you. That should not move you from from being willing to give me. Uh, $5? I don't know. Thanks. Uh, you guys are the best. Thanks so much. If you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you're willing to join our Discord server, link in description. It is a cool, cool place full of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. It's a really neat community. If you want to hang out with me, hang out with some other cool people, that's the place to do it. Um, I hope to see you there. Thanks!